Hello and welcome to this new tutorial and uh, today I am going to show you how we can use the histogram back projection for image segmentation or finding some objects of interest although this is not a very good technique in my opinion but still we can have some idea about how we can use it for segmentation or finding the object so let's see how we can do this so let me go to my process and in the histogram I'm going to add a sub menu and call it back projection and double click on this break projection and here I'm going to write a try cage block and in the exception I'm going to show a message box if there is any any exception ex dot message so let me check if my picture box has some image or not so if in dot image if this one equals equals null then I'm going to return and also I need two images one is the model image from where I need to construct the histogram so I will be selecting that image from within my image so I'm also checking this if my rectangle that is the selected area is equal to null then again I will not do anything so at least one image and a sub image should have been selected so once those are selected I can read the image and I <coughs> excuse me I can read it into IMG scene is equal to from my image list which I have already created when reading the images I can read it the input image and I clone it just make a complete copy of it into IMG scene and another uh, we I just call it IMG object which I am going to select and uh, is equal to new let me say bitmap I'm going to create it from my picture box so picture box dot image and uh, then I also need to convert it into IMG uh, EMG UCV's data structure so I can I just need it in the gray scale so I just keep it like a gray scale so what the basic purpose is whatever the object I have found I will be calculating uh, a histogram for it and then I will search for uh, for the pixels which basically satisfy or fall into the histogram distribution so if those I will try to find out the pixels which basically satisfy the histogram distribution then I will be showing those pixels and otherwise I will be uh, setting them to zero so that is the basic idea of a histogram back projection and uh, to calculate the histogram so we need to first calculate the histogram so I just need to create a made object and I call it histogram of object is equal to new histogram of object and then I also need some parameters for my histogram so I just need to define them for example the range I need a float and a ranges is equal to new float and I just can create a so this will basically consist of the values between 0 and 255 and how many channels do we have for calculation so I will provide the IDs of these channels so I'm I have only one channel and its index is 0 and also I need to define the histogram size and this is also equal to the number of bins that I have is 256 these are basically needed for the histogram which we need to calculate and I also need to create some other uh, objects which are also needed for histogram calculation so I'm just calling it MS basically a vector of mate for scene because it is expecting a vector of mate so I call it vector of mate and in this uh, vector of mate I'm going to push my original image so I'm just I'm just seen and similarly I need it for my uh, model image so I'm just going to create that call it ms object is equal to new uh, vector of mate and here I'm going to push my push IMG object 
Okay. Once I have a vector I've made for scene and I put the object for uh, the MS object and I put I put this image, then I can calculate the histogram. So CV invoke dot calc histogram. I will be using the calc hist method. So here I am going to pass the object that I have created, vector I've made, so object. The next parameter is the channels which I have already defined. I have only uh, one channel, so zeroth index channel. And uh, we don't have any mask, so I want to calculate it for the whole image, so I give it null. And for the output, that where we are going to write the output is histogram of object I have already created, a mate object and the histogram of size, what is the size of the histogram and the ranges that we are expecting to calculate it and we are not going to accumulate which means that we need to calculate a brand new histogram. Okay, once we have the histogram, um, we can normalize the histogram also. So cv invoke dot normalize and the histogram object that is what I am going to normalize and the output is also I'm just writing back into this hist object and I want it to be between 0 and uh, 255 doesn't matter or 0 and a 1 whatever you want so norm type that I'm going to use is min max and now it's time to calculate the back projection using this histogram on my scene image. So to store the back projection, I'm going to create another made object and call it projection, proj is equal to new mate. So this is where I'm going to store the back projection. And then I'm going to call cv invoke dot calc back project. And here you can see it is expecting an array of images so ms scene which i have already created so this is the original scene image how many channels that i have only want to process on zeroth channel and this is the histogram or the model histogram that we have calculated so this is the model histogram using which we are trying to find out the pixels in the scene image and this is the project where i am going to store the results and the ranges we have already defined and the rest as it is. So this one will give me the back projection uh, of my pixels. That is the probability of the pixels. They are satisfying the given histogram. So then I can use uh, to make it a little better uh, in its look. I can do something like I can create a kernel and a convolve with this uh, some ellipse elliptical sort of kernel. So cv invoke dot get structuring element and uh, shape is I want like an a ellipse and uh, I want this kernel size to be by default 555. Five. I'm using 5. And the anchor point or the central point that I'm considering is the center of this 555 pixels. So that's what minus one minus one is. Once I define the kernel, now I can apply a convolution by using the filter 2D on my histo on my big projection. So projection and the output is again I want to store it in the projection. And here is the kernel that I'm going to convolve it. And again, the anchor point, it should be minus one comma minus one. So once I do the convolution of my kernel uh, using a, an elliptical kernel, uh, the, the next thing that I want to do is to convert my projection into uh, some sort of a binary representation or into a grayscale image representation and then I can apply a threshold on it so that I can select the most highly uh, suitable or high the values which are higher than some threshold then I can show them as the matching point so you can say variable binary is equal to project 
question dot to image I can convert it, this mate into an image so that I can apply some extra functionality on it okay once I convert it I can then threshold it so this this threshold can be I don't know which value can be better so let me say I select the values which are greater than 250 and replace them with two sorry 50 replace them with 255 and uh, interestingly I might need the mate so I just need to convert or copy the mate into this binary so you will see how I am using it next and uh, finally to remove or using this binary information I want to remove the rest of the areas and only I want to show the matched areas in the image scene so what I need to do here is let me create a result or RGB image which will be the final image image scene dot copy blank okay so I created a copy and then I can uh, convert this mate into an RGB image or a three channel image so how I can do that is in order to create uh, basically an, an RGB image from this mate what I'm going to do is uh, let me first create a vector of of mates I call it vector of mates is equal to new vector of mates and inside this vector of mates I'm going to push this binary mate that I have created so this is the reason I just copy the mate for from this projection and I do it three times so that I can create a three channel image now I will merge these three uh, mates into an RGB image okay because my original image is RGB so uh, CV invoke dot merge method that I'm going to use and it will merge all the all the objects present in this vector of mates and then it will give me the output I need to write the output in another object that is RGB dot mate so it will merge these and write it into this RGB dot mate okay so once I have the final RGB image that is the back projection which has the highest matching then I can perform an AND operation with the scene image to create the final output so how what I mean is let's say variable output is equal to new mate and then CV invoke dot bitwise and operation and I want this bitwise and operation to be between the RGB that is the result we have produced and the scene image uh, which we will write in this output variable so this one will essentially give us the common uh, the common areas in which the pixel values are not zero here so when we do end with it so the the pixel values which are zero will be removed while the rest will remain here and then we will show we want to show them so i can write picture box dot image equals to output dot to bitmap and uh, we can also show it in using my custom add image method in the tree view output dot to image bgr bytes and i call maybe it back projection okay so let us run the results and C so let me open an image let's say I'm going to select this building image 
and the first I need to select an ROI so let's say I'm interested in these green patches and then I will be using get region of interest now I am interested in finding a similar pixels in my original image so I will go to the process histogram back projection so this is the result you can see that these green patches and even the the green leaves of these trees and all these have been retained but also you can see that these pixel values which are actually not greenery but it believes that they have higher matching with the selected histogram but somehow the the idea is when we are given uh, basically a histogram and we are trying to find out the probability of a pixel that satisfies the uh, histogram distribution and this is how we get the results but as I mentioned that here are many parameters which we need to change and fine-tune them for example here I, I use the thresholding and here we can change the bin size so we can adjust them fine-tune them to satisfy our own requirements just I wanted to give you an idea how we can use the back pro uh, projection also for finding the uh, region of interests are to even uh, find uh, segment the images thank you for watching and hope to see you in another video